Hello viewers! Imagine cruising down the highway, everything's running smoothly, when suddenly your engine dies without warning. No sputter, no misfire, nothing, just silence. And it doesn't want to restart either, no matter how hard you crank it. Well, one of the things that may cause this is a broken timing belt. This small component is one of the most critical parts of your engine and if it fails, it can cause catastrophic damage, sometimes costing thousands of dollars to repair. And because that's something you clearly want to avoid, let's see how to tell if the timing belt is bad. One of the most important things when it comes to a timing belt is to spot the signs of it failing before it breaks. Once it snaps, it's often too late and the damage can be devastating. So here are the most common symptoms. A worn or stretched belt may start producing a rhythmic ticking or clicking sound. This happens because the belt is no longer moving smoothly across the pulleys and the synchronization between the engine components begins to falter. Or you may hear winding or grinding noises coming from the front of the engine which could be caused by failing belt tensioners. As the timing belt wears out and stretches, it can cause the valves to open and close at the wrong times. From the driver's perspective, you'll notice the engine shakes and feels like it's struggling to stay alive, and it'll definitely be down on power. In addition, you could see black or white smoke from the exhaust, especially under hard accelerations. Now, if your car feels sluggish and doesn't have the punch it used to have, you might also see a drop in fuel economy. This is because the engine is not running optimally, which prevents the gas from being used completely during combustion. In fact, this unburned gas is what causes the black smoke from the exhaust I mentioned earlier. Hard starting is another thing you may notice when the timing belt is on its last legs. In simple words, you turn the key, the engine cranks strongly, but it takes much more time before it actually fires up. And sometimes you'll even have to press the throttle pedal. The thing is, if the belt is stretched and loose, the valves won't open and close at the correct moment, meaning the mixture inside the cylinder will be off. Next, when something's wrong with the engine, the car's ECU is likely to spot the problem and trigger a check engine light to warn you. But this warning light on its own doesn't tell much, and to figure out why it's on, you'll need to hook up a scan tool and check the stored error codes. In case of a worn or stretched timing belt, you might see various timing or mixture-related codes. In addition, you might see oil leaks from the front of the engine, where the timing belt is located, usually coming from bad crankshaft or camshaft seals. Now, while this isn't caused by a bad timing belt, the escaping oil might leak onto it and start damaging its rubber structure. If left unchecked, this can easily lead to belt's premature breakage, with all corresponding consequences. Lastly, while on the subject of oil, I must mention that some newer cars have so-called wet timing belts, which are immersed in the engine oil. This design is supposed to reduce the running losses and make the assembly quieter. However, the downside is that the timing belt might start disintegrating due to constant exposure to hot engine oil especially if you don't use the correct oil grade and specification. The telltale sign here is small rubber particles found in oil, and if you spot them, the timing belt needs to be replaced ASAP before it snaps. In addition, the fall of rubber pieces will collect in the oil pan, from where they may clog the whole lubrication system and cause extensive engine damage. So, those were the most common symptoms of a failing timing belt that you might spot. Sometimes, however, there will be no warning signs at all, and it just snaps as you drive along. This usually results in catastrophic engine failure with bent valves, broken valve train components, and damaged pistons, which cost thousands of dollars to repair. For that reason, car makers provide specific mileage intervals for timing belt replacement, usually ranging between 60 and 100,000 miles, depending on the make and model. Following this schedule, 
which you can find in the vehicle service manual, is the best way to avoid disaster. To understand why the timing belt is so critical for the engine's operation, let's look at what it actually does. This, in essence, is a reinforced rubber belt with teeth that fit into pulleys. Its primary function is to synchronize the rotation of the crankshaft, which controls the movement of the pistons inside the cylinders, and the camshaft, whose job is to open and close the intake and exhaust valves. The timing belt ensures these two parts move in perfect harmony. When the piston is moving up, the valves must close. When it moves down, the intake valves must open to let air and fuel in. Later, the exhaust valves must open at the precisely right moment for the pistons to push the burnt gases out of the cylinders. Think of the engine as a finely tuned orchestra. Every part has a role to play, but without a conductor, it becomes chaos. The timing belt is that conductor, keeping every component in rhythm. If the belt stretches, the valves and pistons fall out of sync, resulting in poor performance or rough operation. Or even worse, if it breaks, the pistons and valves collide, leaving you with a dead car and a hefty repair bill. Now, when looking for the timing belt, this is not something you can easily spot by lifting the hood, as it's almost always hidden behind a protective cover on the side of the engine. But in fact, in most cars, the timing belt sits at the front of the engine block, looping around the crankshaft and camshaft pulleys. So, depending on the vehicle's layout, if it's a front-wheel drive, the belt will be on the side of the engine closer to the wheel well. While in rear-wheel drive cars, it will be positioned toward the front, closer to the radiator. Because the belt is buried under other components and covered for protection, reaching it requires significant disassembly. This includes removing accessories, covers and sometimes the water pump. That's why timing belt replacement is considered a labor-intensive job, not a simple driveway repair. In the end, let's answer the question you're probably most concerned about. How much does it cost to replace the timing belt? Well, there are a couple of things to consider here. First of all, we have the timing belt itself, which is not very expensive, and it usually costs between $25 and $100. But mechanics rarely replace just the belt, because other components in the system wear out at the same time. Instead, what you want to do is install a timing belt kit, which includes the belt, tensioners, pulleys and, depending on the engine configuration, the water pump. This is because all these components work together and if one fails, the others are affected. A full kit can cost anywhere from $100 to $300, depending on the car. But the bulk of the expense comes from the labor. Since the belt is difficult to access, replacement can take between 3 and 8 hours of work. Depending on local labor rates, this usually adds $300 to $800 to the bill. So, when you sum it all up, the total cost of timing belt replacement falls between $500 and $1000. And for high performance or luxury vehicles, the cost can go as high as $2000 or even more. At first, this may sound expensive, but consider the alternative. If the belt breaks and causes piston-to-valve contact, you could be looking at a couple of thousand dollars in repairs, or even worse, an engine replacement. In many cases, owners choose to scrap the car rather than pay for such a repair. For that reason, replacing the timing belt at a recommended interval is not just preventive maintenance, it's insurance for your engine's survival. So, the bottom line is simple. Don't ignore the timing belt. If your car is due for a replacement, get it done. It's one of those expenses that hurts once, but saves you from far bigger costs down the road. I hope this video was helpful, and if so, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. On the other hand, if you're having some different problems with your vehicle, be sure to check other videos here or visit our site, mechanicbase.com, for detailed car repair guides. Bye!